friends, welcome to probably an anticipated video for my followers who are already here for my channel. Today we have a very exciting video to do for you and it is a pack with me video. So um, this is a little bit of a unique pack with me for our family. Um, it's also not complete. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a preface. We're not done packing, but we will be adding things in the next few days as we get closer to our actual travels. Part of that is because we are currently using the stuff we, we need to pack. And so it will be kind of a wear it, wash it, pack it moment this week. But the reason why this packing video is a little bit unique is because our travels are a little bit unique. And as I talk, I'm going to fold this um, because this is the reason we are going on this trip. So for those of you who are new and are coming for a packing video, why would I be, let me find the one that's more obvious, why would I be packing a cheerleader uniform <laughs> for a trip? It's because our daughter, who is 10, almost 11, by the time you guys see this video, she'll be 11. She is on a cheer squad and she and her team were invited to go and perform in Japan. So <laughs> that is why we are going to Japan. And as I like to do, I make trips to Hawaii happen no matter where we are. <laughs> So we are making a detour to Hawaii on our way home from Japan. Jason makes fun of me and that I make detours to Hawaii out of nothing and this is the most extreme one I've ever done. <laughs> so yes, we are going to Japan for one week and then we are, not quite a week actually, and then we are going to Hawaii. So it is unique because right now in Japan on the island of Hokkaido, we're going to the city of Sapporo, it is still winter. It's very similar to here except they still have snow. <laughs> it actually snows there. It's their winter town. It's kind of their ski town, their winter fest. It's still similar temperatures is here. It's in the 40s during the day, so I don't think we're gonna have a terrible shock to the temperature, and we're not gonna have a shock to rain, but if it snows, then that's a little bit different, especially because we're going as tourists. We're gonna be outside walking, getting on and off trains and buses and that kind of thing. So it does make our packing tricky, especially because we are also packing for Hawaii which obviously is tropical tank tops, swimsuits, shorts, completely polar opposite clothing. So you see where our predicament is. Our other predicament, our family of five that is going, three girls, our oldest is not going with us to Japan, but she's meeting us in Hawaii. We are only doing carry-on bags. Yes, you heard that right. We are only doing carry-on. So I, we also have to make sure this uniform, which Ashley just got finished using for the last time before this trip, um, this white material can get stuff on it and it, the red can actually bleed. So I don't want it to touch anything leading up to her performances in Japan. So I am just gonna go ahead and pack this up. Like I said, she just used this for the very last time last night, so I haven't been able to pack it yet. But yes, we are doing carry-ons only. Um, a lot of that is just the hassle of all of the flights. We have two flights to Japan, two flights over to Hawaii, two flights from Hawaii, from Honolulu to Kauai, and then a flight from Kauai to Honolulu to home. I don't know if you caught how many flights that adds up to. It's a lot. And so I I don't wanna risk not having some of our suitcases end up where we need to be, especially being on the other side of the world in Japan. Ashley is actually required to have this in her carry-on bag. And luckily she has an actual cheer bag that she has from another squad. It actually has her name on it. And it has a pocket for her pom-poms. You see her pom-poms in here. There's a lower pocket, similar to like a soccer ball pocket. There's her pom-poms in here. And then there's an upper compartment in here um, and I'll show you the other things that we have packed here but her cheer uniform is going in here there's the rest of her clothes um, I may not actually pack we'll get to this but I may not actually pack that in there and I'll tell you why in a second she is required to have this with her on the plane with all of her cheer gear we don't want to risk her not having her stuff with her obviously that's why we're going the main reason why we are packing carry-on only is just the logistics and we've also heard in Japan it is with the buses the trains the the subway, the you name it, all of that, on and off, all of those with like more than you can handle in your own hands regarding suitcases. 
just very difficult. And so we are just doing it where our kids are in charge of their backpack and their carry-on bag, their suitcase. So everyone has one hand on one thing and they can use their other hand to get on and off the bus, train, whatever you wanna call it. So we're trying to make it easy in that way, but it's also not making it easy <laughs> to get everything packed. I'm gonna show you what's in front of me. I have it all laid out here. This is as far as we have gotten so far. Like I said, we're still using our sweatshirts, some of our pants, and our tennis shoes that we are going to wear on the plane. But let me show you what we have so far. I'm gonna give you a general overview of everything so far. These are all of the carry-on bags and me and Jason's backpacks and Ashley's backpack. You'll notice that's four carry-on suitcases. Abby has her carry-on suitcase. She's in charge of that one. She can fill that one up with all, only her stuff, but I have told her if she has extra room in it, I need the extra room. So <laughs> she is working on that this week. She's already prepped it herself leading up to today, um, and she'll finish it off this week if she has any extra room. I will see if I need to use it for anything of ours as a family and be able to use her bag, but she is the oldest one out of our family going, and she's like me. She's very organized, very thoughtful. She's got this figured out, so I don't bother with her stuff at all. Like, and she likes to have things private as well. So you'll, you won't see her bag. <laughs> you won't see how hers is packed. But just know that it is very similar to how the rest of these are packed because she learned from me. So <laughs> let's just show all some of the main things that we used to pack and then we'll kind of dive in to the specific. All right, the first thing that I always do when I'm getting ready for a trip is I make a list. I could do this on a spreadsheet and print it out and it would be the same every time, but there's something in me that likes it to be pretty. I like it to be like by hand. I like to check things off by hand. I like it to look nice. So I do this every single time. I do a clothing list and like personal items and then I do some beachy items here and then I do my electronic list just because I have a YouTube channel. I have to take all of my electronic electronics and gear so that's always in a separate list and then I leave room for extras. I also carry around sticky notes in case I need to make notes of things to remember so I brought that up here with me. The next thing that we always have now and I have actually stocked up on if you have not watched our other travel haul video go and watch that. Um, I now have multiple sets of packing cubes. I don't travel without them. Even if it's just for a short weekend, I don't travel without a packing cube. You can see this one here is not tight. There's only socks in this one, so I could zip the compression side of that one up and have it be really small, but I know I'm going to add to this one. But as you can see, if you pack things into packing cubes, look how easy this is to fit into your suitcase and how easy it is to manage it if we are at the airport and they wanted to check our bags or they wanted to, if we were over weight, which we won't have weight requirements for these because they're carry-on. If they questioned my items in here, it's just open it up and it's easy and you're not going to have clothing items spill out all over the airport. So if you have not gotten packing cubes, I highly recommend them. I'm going to open one of them and show you how much is in some of these. Maybe this guy, this one looks a little bulgy. So we'll show you how many things I get into these, especially for my Hawaii stuff, because I highly recommend using these. All right, it's easiest to open these when both the compression is unzipped as well as the top is unzipped. Um, it's just easier to open it. But as you can see in this one, I have so many things packed in here. I've got everything from my pajamas, swimsuits, multiple swim bottoms, swim wraps, swim shorts. I have all of my workout shorts on this side over here, multiple shorts. Um, it fits so many. I'm gonna show you one more just to kind of see a good stack of clothing items. This is a new shirt, new tank top. I'm going to count here really quick. These are just the tank tops I'm taking to Hawaii. And yes, I do plan on wearing this many. I wear tank tops to work out in and I wear them during the day when we're not at the pool, but I also wear them, you know, to and from the pool. So I have multiple tank tops. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a dress, eight, nine, just on this one little side. And I know for a fact that the other side of that has another set of clothes. I think that my shorts are on the other side. So as you can see, these fit a ton of clothes when you use the compression end of the bag. So I highly recommend these. I like to do mine um, in like compartmentalize. These are all my tank tops and my shorts. Then this bag right here has all my underwear, my bras, my sports bras, my tank top, not, not my tank tops, my, you know, just multiple bras, that kind of stuff is all in here. I have three myself. And then I also have them in, oh gosh, I can't even lift them up. 
So I'm not gonna lift mine up. I'll show you Jason's. We have these travel bags. I've also done a video just on these travel bags, but I wanna show you the whole plus side to using packing cubes. This is just, you think this is just a regular backpack, right? It's a big one. It's a big backpack. But look what packing can do. Packing cubes can do in a backpack. Look at all of that. Look at all that. Can you even see how many does Jason have packed in here? He has three packing cubes. Three. And they're in here. They're locked in. They're not going to fall out if I open this up. This is his carry-on backpack. So he has three compression bags. He only has one more in a suitcase. He probably will create one more um, with more, a few more pants and a few, like a sweatshirt or two as we kind of finish up our packing. We have, we're trying to decide how much space we have left. Um, and then in his backpack, just to give you a quick idea, then there's room here for his laptop. And then this compartment here, if he has electronics, his headphones, any of his cords, his power pack. Um, and then I always leave room Room on this top right here in these backpacks for candy. All your plain snack fit on the top. I always do only one packing cube on this end of it so that there's room for extra stuff in the backpack. So as you can see, using the packing cubes backpack or carry-on bag or uh, yeah, carry-on suitcase, highly recommend using packing cubes. Um, Ashley's packing cube I thought didn't weigh very much until we put, this is all of her clothes. Well, I should say most of her clothing um, I think, cause she's a weird child. She kind of is like Chelsea where she gets hot often um, and she likes to just wear shorts. And so she's wearing shorts both in Japan and in Hawaii. She's also practicing and performing a lot in shorts and her uniform. And so um, she's just gonna throw on pajama pants um, going to and from the gym. And so she's gonna be wearing shorts and tank tops for a very majority of the time. She's in Japan. So it makes it so that this her stuff doesn't take up much room for both, both locations. Um, and I thought it would be fine in this this backpack but it turns out that like this is really heavy on top of her pom-pom so I'm actually second-guessing putting her packing cube in here I'm just gonna leave her her cheer uniform in here because she also needs to fit her um, her stuffy she's gonna take her weighted alligator I think she has an alligator dinosaur she has a weighted dinosaur she's using for her pillow and then she'll pack a little blanket in here and then she'll have room for candy and and plain snacks I will probably do that kind of stuff in a little pouch like this for her so that it doesn't get lost inside the bag she can just pull the pouch out and have access to her candy so I might need to find a new location for this guy so it doesn't weigh down her bag and her pom-poms so let me just show you oh okay this is not formal let me show you a few other things aside from the packing cubes which as soon as you've packed into packing cubes and you we try to coordinate colors and styles for the packing cubes so you can kind of tell whose is whose and then when you get to the hotel it's easy to like chuck your clothes to the rooms where they belong um, especially for us we're kind of just stuffing things in to suitcases where it'll fit and not necessarily this is Chelsea's this is Ashley's you know not making them individual bags themselves it is helpful to have everyone in a certain color and I've finally been able to do that this year is have everyone in a color I bought two of these packing sets myself to have mine all in purple that helps at the hotel end especially because now we're gonna be in three different hotels so this suitcase down here on the very end you can see it's empty on that whole side I have put my shoes in here but we don't see any of Jason's shoes if you know me on a shoe store that whole side is gonna be filled up with Jason's shoes he has one little packing cube of clothes I think or something um, so his other end of that suitcase is gonna be filled up with shoes so that's taken then we've got packing cube in that one packing cubes here packing packing all of these are filled up with packing cubes I do have this toiletry bag I actually bought these bags they're little PVC pipe bags made out of little plastic and I ha just have all the extra bathroom things they're all three ounce bottles but they're just not my makeup items there's extra toothpaste and the deodorants and lotions sunscreen that are all in the sizes that we can take on the plane and then Ashley she will have her own makeup bag for cheer I actually probably will just have her put it into this bag she has makeup that she has to do for her performances and then Ab again Abby has her own makeup stuff in her bag I have mine back there I'll show you so that's all the bathroom stuff that we're gonna need to take um, I do need to remember a flat iron because I think I'm gonna do my hair straight when we're in Japan because I can make it last for two or three days so this is all Japan like most of it is Japan some of the, I mean the clothing I have like Japan and Hawaii packed separately <sighs> but this is the only bag that I truly have Hawaii stuff in 
If you've done packing videos with us for Hawaii, you'll be shocked that this is the only pack that I have for Hawaii stuff. And you guys, I haven't even found half of our towels, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I actually haven't found where we've lost or they're broken. We need two more um, of these snorkel masks, and I might have to just order them on Amazon really quick um, because we like these ones the most. They cover the nose, and they have this elastic instead of the plastic. These work so well, and we love them. All the kids use these, and so I don't want them to fight over them. So I'm gonna have to order some more of those, and we're only taking two of our full face face masks because usually only Jason and I do the full face snorkeling. The other kids just use this, and they're fine with that. Then on this side over here, again, packing cube. This one is not a compression bag. It's just a regular packing cube and I didn't worry about it just because I'm gonna fill it nice and tight. I'm missing two, like two or three of these towels. I don't know where they are. Um, as you can see the blue one is in here but I'm missing the orange one. Um, Kaylee says that maybe Jacob has some in his car or his house from their trips to the beach this summer so I have to get that back from the boyfriend. Um, but I'm taking these because they pack up really small. I won't be sad if I don't find all of them but I would like to have maybe one or two more. So right here right here, I have three. I bought this one um, in Maui. Um, and then I have a few pool toys that don't take up very much room. I just know that the kids like to play with these a lot so I'm gonna pack those. And then what else do I have in here? I'm gonna kind of prop you up here. I loved these and I know I could buy them when we get there so if we're tired on room I probably will take them out but I don't think we're gonna be tight on them I love floaties I love sitting in the pool and the hotel that we're going to has an amazing infinity pool ledge I can't wait to be able to like float along that at sunset oh my gosh I'm so excited so I'm gonna take them if I can fit them and I'm packing so that Jason doesn't see them <laughs> <laughs> They're thin, they don't take up a ton of room, so I'm gonna take them. All right, you can see I've got a few more little throw toys. Then, underneath everything, I have two bags. So the only bags I'm gonna take are this um, cute little Hawaiian bag that I got probably, I don't know, one, or, one of the last two times we went, but it's actually a cooler bag. So it has that reflective, you know, cooler material on the inside of the bag, but it folds nice and flat. We use these every single day. It doesn't matter if we're going to the beach, the pool, you know, sightseeing in the car, to the waterfalls. We use this for food and drinks to keep them cold. We use these all the time and it's just, it's easy to buy them there, but I've already bought them there. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take it with me. And then this is my beach bag that I take everywhere. I got it on Kauai and I actually would love to replace it because this one is getting really old and worn out. I love it. I love the sling style of it. Um, you'll, you'll see me in plenty of videos with this guy. I love this so much. So that's all we're taking in terms of our Hawaii style. Stuff. Um, so I think you should be proud of me and I know that Jason's proud of me I think he just would like me to keep these at home, but they fit I told him just let me do it if it fit I get to take it So the last thing I'll show you um, and it's kind of just a generalized <laughs> Maybe I'll take everything out just because it is pretty discombobulated, but this is my makeup bag This is the least organized I've been with a makeup bag before I have three different styles of makeup bag that I've bought in the past and the only reason why I'm hacking it this way, one, I need to take less, <laughs> and the other bag fit more and then waste space. So I need something like this where the bag itself is super thin and if it's full, it's full. If it's not, it packs down and it doesn't take up extra space. So I'm just gonna run you through because I'm interested in watching people in, and show what people take. And I'm sorry I didn't open up every single packing cube <laughs> to show you, but basically the stuff for, that I pack for Japan, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and pants, and they're off, often, they're just my jogger pants. I'm not taking jeans. I'm not even taking a nice outfit. Uh, yeah, the nicest, outfit that I have is a pair of khakis and like a blouse. I think we're gonna go to dinner the first night that we're there with the team. Otherwise, it's just sightseeing and I'm gonna be wearing tennis shoes and jogger pants, <laughs> t-shirts and sweatshirts to stay warm. Um, and then my Hawaii stuff, you saw, it's just tank tops, short, workout shorts, workout tank tops, swimsuits, and swim swim covers. So if you've, you've seen all the swim stuff in my um, swim travel haul, Hawaii haul video, so you got a little bit of a sneak peek in that kind of stuff so I'm just gonna go through really quick and show you what's in my little makeup bag and then I guess we could also see what's in this guy um, just because it's kind of interesting um, I have band-aids and I have a ring if you want to know how to keep track of all your ponytails put them on a little um, 
one of these little rings. They work great, because then you can just take them on and off. Then let's see, I have a teeny tiny lotion. This is my face lotion. These are from the dollar store. They work really great for travel. Also, right, it's 2.53 ounce. So, and these last for months for me. So you'll have plenty on your trip. Then I have some setting powder, just in case. Um, I don't plan to do my makeup a ton, but um, going out to nice restaurants and stuff while we're in Japan, I probably will. Then I have my two scrunchies that I have bought in Hawaii. I love these things even though my hair is short. I might want to find a pink one when I'm there for when I hair, if I grow it out, I don't know. We have travel deodorant, travel toothpaste. Then I have a little makeup bag. I'll show you that here in a second. And then makeup brushes. I have Q-tips. Here's a little tip for you. See what I did there? These are gum cases. These are like extra gum. Comes in these packs at the store. Take the gum out of it and put your Q-tips in it. Free case, you don't have to buy it. And then just one makeup palette. And then I have a few more, not makeup, eyeshadow palette. Just a basic one for Japan and then I'll show you what I'll use for um, Hawaii because I don't do my makeup in Hawaii. <laughs> I just do my eyes. Abby gave this one back to me. This is the little, uh, what, are they, what do they call this? Um, it's to put between your thighs. If your thighs aren't used to touching, <laughs> you might want chub rub. I think that's what they call it, chub rub. If you know, you know. Um, I have a few uh, makeup sponges that I'm going to take for Japan and actually do makeup when I'm there. My makeup does well in cold weather so I can actually do it there. Hawaii, not so much. Fan. I always have a fan on me. Um, I have my toothbrush. I'm not taking my electric toothbrush. Just a cheapo one. So I have another. This is my like uh, bronzer, you know, type thing. Um, I am taking my cute little um, Sol de Janeiro. This is the body wash. And I also have the travel uh, spray, the perfume. And then in my, um, oh, I don't have it up here. Uh, I will have a bag that I'm going to put into my backpack that has a few other things in it as well. Maybe I'll go grab that and I can show you. And then I have setting spray. I'm running out of time. And then I have an extra tooth toothbrush for Ash, who always forgets it last minute. So I always just sneak one into my bag, <laughs> just in case. And then, yeah, let's do that. Battery is flashing. Let me get a new battery. And then I'll show you what's in this bag. And I'll show you it, what's in the bag that will go into my carry-on bag. All right, I didn't finish showing you what I had in this little red bag. Nothing fancy. I have a little concealer stick, mascara, blush, liquid blush foundation a teeny tiny you guys remember this is what I got for my birthday teeny tiny primer <laughs> I only need it for makeup a few times in Japan then I have two of my ColourPop um oh, what do you call it? eyeshadows I love these are kind of like gl glimmery ones this is a pink one and this is a light one I love those so much and I also love this guy I just don't have a little pod for that that one but between um these two these this is all I'm gonna put on my eyes in Hawaii I put those on if we're gonna go out at night to dinner um, um, add, add a little highlight, which I'm gonna steal one of Kaylee or Abby's highlighters. I'm not even gonna take my own. That's all I'm gonna do in Hawaii. And then obviously it's like chapstick and stuff. So very minimal on the makeup end of things. Mainly we'll do makeup just for the two game performances, I think, when we go to the games and the first night for dinner when we're with the whole group. Otherwise, I'll just be doing my eyes like I do it normally around town during the week. So that's it for the makeup bag. And hopefully that will fit somewhere. It might go in the bag with the whole Hawaii stuff. I also forgot um, that I'm going, I haven't, I actually haven't decided. I haven't fully decided if I'm going to take this guy. It's really, I think I'm going to take it because in Japan I can take it. I'm going to empty it for the most part because I can't take it on the plane with me. I can't have it separate on the plane. So I'm going to empty it for the most part and keep it the stuff that I need on the plane in this pouch I'm about to show you. And then as soon as I get to Japan, I'll use it there, repack it back into a suitcase. But I don't know if I'm going to use it in Hawaii. I I might just use my other beach bag because it just comes in handy. And a lot of that is because I have this little pouch that I used on my last little trip that I did to Utah. Just realized toothpaste. I don't want to forget it. <laughs> so I just saw that. This in my backpack. I have it kind of set up already. So I will show you my backpack here. Oh, there's a lot of things that we can show you in my backpack. Okay, so we'll get there. In my For my backpack, my travel bag, I need access to stuff. So I leave the top compartment here open to put stuff. So I'm going to take out stuff. We'll share. We're sharing. Normally I wouldn't share. <laughs> I will be sharing. Okay, so I leave this top part. As you can see, this is empty in here, except for the packing cube that is attached. Can you see the strap right there? This is why I love these bags. So that, that, that pouch is strapped in tight, so I can have this bag open and nothing happens to that. Then I can take little things like this pouch and set it in here, and this pouch 
and set it in here and everything stays where it needs to be and then I can stick this whole thing underneath the seat pull it up and down and I can just grab out this entire bag and we'll show you what's in these guys because it's like the Mary Poppins this is the the disheveled type um, of uh, purse that a mom takes on the plane <laughs> I have gum for everyone and these will be dispersed in fact I'm gonna take them out I have a pile here of stuff like that I have lollipops for Ashley to hand out to babies on the plane toddlers I should say that have ears that won't pop we like to take lollipops for kids so this is in no order what's in my carry-on bag this is actually the cinch bag for my towel um, that we got last time um, I, here's the lotion for my Sol de Janeiro so I have lotion on the plane and I will smell nice when I put that on then like I said this is just a random I mean if you watched my travel haul video you'll see some of these little trinket from that video um, and how they're being used this is a cord holder I have probably 30 of these now I bought a whole bunch of them um, and they work great they just come in packs like this so I bought a bunch of them I have that cord I have a bunch of different kinds of cords I have these blocks because you never know when you're gonna need one of those let's see I have more gum that's mine we have um, our Marriott wristbands Jason and I bought these when we stayed at the Marriott um, on Oahu the last time we went together alone and they said when you buy them you get to keep them and they're cute colors um, and we are staying at Marriott at Kaloa Landing is a Marriott and so we have our own now and then the girls will get theirs when they get to the hotel they just won't get to keep them I'm also taking um, other wristbands for my wop. I won't be, um, I don't know if I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna switch and take the silicone one instead of this plasticky one. I don't wanna get this one dirty from travel. It's already kind of getting dirty from around town. I'll probably take one that can wipe off easier, but I like these ones in Hawaii, so I have different ones to trade out once we get there. I don't, I really don't know what's in here because I haven't gone through it since I went on my last trip. I think I have three chocolate bars. I probably picked these up from my sister's house. I'm um, thinking I might want them on the plane. I have another little travel size lotion in case I don't want to waste my Sol de Janeiro one. A random tampon. Like I said, some of this is just random. Another chocolate bar. And then I love having um, these battery chargers um, to charge my phone. I have three of these. Actually, we have a bunch of them because Kaylee and Abby and Chelsea have their own. And then I have three that are in my office. So one of them is in here. Uh, Jason will get one and then I'll probably give one to Ashley. So we all should have um, So that is what is in here. I probably will have a few more things going in here um, again it's gonna come from my purse it will probably be a little money pouch I'll probably actually just stick my little coin purse in there with my cards and then really like that's oh and my sunglasses will need to go in here if you haven't seen these guys pair of eyewear you'll be seeing these a lot in our videos in Hawaii not so much in Japan the sun won't be out there okay so we're gonna move on really quick um, the, the last two bags um, that I have are these guys this is my electronic band bag that I'm taking. Um, this is the smallest one I have. Um, it has all my electronic stuff for my laptops. My um, GoPro is in here. It'll have my electron my power cord for my laptop. It has extra power cords for my phone. It'll have my external hard drive for my computer. I just have so much that I have to use to keep these videos functioning. I, it all gets packed up into that nicely and I can already see that can probably go right next to where my makeup bag can go. Then this is the last little guy. Um, I think then we're done after that. And it actually fits perfectly in my Sol de Janeiro travel kit. But this is kind of fun stuff that I have kind of packed up as our little travel bag and the band-aids just didn't fit in here but this is really like our first aid kit so I have a little tiny pack of band-aids um, probably just got that from the dollar store somewhere um, and then I have a little um, neosporin ointment I have one inhaler here but we're actually gonna put an inhaler in Ashley's bag and Jason's carry-on bag because they both could possibly need it and then I have these really cool um, pill cases if you guys watched my travel haul video you'll have seen these but I have them all filled up. I don't know if I'm about to run out of disc space. Um, you guys, this kind of thing happens to me every single time I try and film a big video like this. I run out of battery and I run out of memory disc. So luckily I had another one up here, but that's an, also another reminder of something I needed to make sure I pack an extra memory card. Okay, so I was showing you our pill pouches or pill cases, you guys. I don't know if this will satisfy you, but it really <laughs> satisfies me. Oh my gosh. Check it out. They're the real label for all the kinds of medicine. Isn't that so stinking cool? And given the cold that I still have, 
I'm gonna pack some more day quill and some more night quill and actually I might pack the full sleeves of the day quill and night quill and just put it in a baggie and chuck it into the suitcase because this cold that I have is going through the family but it has not hit Jason yet or Abby yeah it hasn't really, Abby's kind of had a cold off and on, and I don't want to have to try and figure out where to find cold medicine in Japan. So I'm gonna probably pack some extra, knowing that we now have this cold. But here's the other one. Look how cool, <laughs> love it. So allergy medicine, Benadryl, but also regular Claritin. This is just the generic from Target, but that's the label that they had. Then Ashley has her medication that she takes every single day. This is my thyroid medication here. And then because my um, other medication is so big, I have to have them in this huge container. This is just the amount of pills that I need for this trip. This whole thing here is the amount of pills that I need. So um, I also have Meclizine. It says Dramamine, but it is actually um, Meclizine. I actually took off the label from the bottle that I got it from, but all three of these are filled with Meclizine. And then Jacob should actually have his own because he'll travel with his own bottle of it that I gave him last year um, that he has now fallen in love with. <laughs> and he understands how well it works. I have my little travel medicine bag that is going to come in handy. We will be using all of these pills at some point in time. This isn't necessarily just um, in an emergency. Um, I can guarantee you will use all these pills it's also important because Jason can't take, and I don't remember which one it is, but he can't take either ibuprofen or Tylenol. He definitely can't take aspirin. So we have to clearly mark because he has horrible reaction. But it's all here, and this one is definitely going on the plane at my seat, not above. We didn't go through this bag. This is really jumbled, but this is my life. I have been like organizing these for weeks now, and I finally kind of have it all here. So you're kind of just getting it exploded out of my own brain. But that's just how I work right now. And and it's all here, it's all ready to go. I just have to like make sure I'm not forgetting. So it actually is helping me go through everything like this. We have uh, our shampoo. We have an Abby's, I actually label makeup, I had a label um, and I put shampoo, conditioner. It's actually shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Um, and I have two of those. Um, we will have three bathrooms in the Hawaii hotel. Um, and I want a set of these in each bathroom. Um, but Abby has her set that will go into her bathroom for her and Kaylee. And then I have Chelsea and Ashley's. We'll go in their bathroom and they're sharing a bathroom with Jacob. Not obviously at the same time. They'll have their own time. And then Ashley wanted to pack her own scent of her Sol de Janeiro body wash. So I have that one and her kind of lotion. And I also have our Blue Lizard. This is the mineral sunsc sunscreen and I just decided to do a stick um, for our faces and our shoulders. And if we find that we need another mineral sunscreen for the ocean, we will go ahead and buy that when we get there. There's a chance that we're gonna buy things and I might need to buy a bag to come home from Hawaii with, which will be fine. And we can check you know, one or two of these bags to come home. That will be fine um, because we likely will have sunscreen in a bottle that I won't be able to bring back on the plane. I have three face sticks for face sunscreen. Um, I have this guy. I'm trying to just take as many little one as one, little ones as I can. Um, a sport sunscreen here, and then another. This one is just more for your face, and it has a higher SPF. But she can put this in her bathroom. She has her whole little travel set that she can take with her. So that's just kind of all jumbled up in here. We'll put this stuff in bathrooms once we get there. Um, but then and it's kind of protected in this bag from leaking all over the other bag. So I actually need to write down while I'm talking to you guys the things that I remembered, which is the last thing that I do before I go on a trip. So not only do I have a packing list, let me just show you, I have another list and you guys haven't seen this one yet. How cute is this? Got my little bird, right? I've got my little, even though Hawaii isn't two cans, but I've got my little pink flamingo, which there are pink flamingos in Hawaii. I think Maui has a hotel where there's pink flamingos. Um, I do have this list and this list is the last things to do before we leave. Um, vacuum the whole house, take the trash out. Um, we need a ride home from the airport. <laughs> I haven't arranged that one yet. Dishes I'll put away, double check for a passport. Um, I can't even, oh, I know where they are. I'm not gonna tell you guys where they are, but they're in a secret compartment in one of these bags. Pay all the credit card bills, check the mail. I make this list and you can see there's a lot of spots. I don't leave our house 
until everything is checked off that list, including turn the lights out. No, given we aren't all leaving at the same time, so I'm gonna leave this list on the counter for Kaylee to finish when she leaves the house. I am meticulous with lists because I don't like forgetting things, and especially with us going to a different country, I can't forget some things that are kind of important. So I'm gonna write down on here, I need to go and order goggles. It's kind of an important thing, because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them in time, from, even from Amazon. That's how soon we're going. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I also have my cute little travel pillow. Again, if you haven't seen my travel haul video, go check that out, because it kind of showed things in more detail of the little things that we have bought to get ready for this trip. It may seem a little chaotic the way I did this. Hopefully it didn't. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I hope that helps you as you maybe are planning a trip. Um, it doesn't matter if you're going to Hawaii or Japan. I There are things here that we can be used in travel all over the world. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below if you have specific questions about Hawaii I will talk about Hawaii any day of the week and I hope you come back for our travel adventures as we go and travel literally around the world lots of time in the air <laughs> I hope you enjoy our travel videos coming up and come back for more um, and take care and see you in Japan first and then in Hawaii take care you guys I totally forgot I totally forgot look what we got we got a four pack of air tags so now we have six so and then we got this little keychain they all come apart, but I have them all hooked together right now. Okay, so they come in little key rings, and then I can stick that inside any of these bags. I might even just hook this little key ring onto one of my um, packing cubes within each bag so that it doesn't get lost or dumped out once we empty the suitcase. That actually might not be a bad idea. I'll hook it to a zipper within the suitcase. Um, so we have six air tags, and if you are new to using air tags, get them. Get them for travel. Even on my direct flight that I took to Utah, they made me check my bag. Bag, and I just I was paranoid I didn't put my address on the bag because I didn't plan on checking it and I wondered if I was actually gonna get it where I was going when it literally had everything in it I needed and an air tag let me know that my bag was on the plane with me and then it let me know exactly when it was coming out to baggage claim so we have actually used air tags to track down our suitcases that were taken by the wrong people in Hawaii so air tag get them use them they're wonderful so that's my last little tip for um, any kind of travel uh, get air tag fantastic so take care and we'll see you on our travel. Hey, where have you been? I've been looking for you now and then. Someone just like you who can make me feel the way you do. Cause if I'm the ocean, you're the rain. Only need each other, baby, you know we're the same Let's run, run away All I need is you, now and always You and me, you and me We don't need no one else than each other You and me, you and me We could run